from Detroit. I think the AMI guitar that I have right now, I actually have a couple of them. They're gonna serve me really well on the road. Um, they're workhorses. I think that's the buzzword for this instrument. You know, they just resonate in the room in a different way and I love it. I love how they play. I was five years old when my mom had me start playing piano. I did not like it. It was my least favorite thing to do. I wanted to go play basketball and hang out with all my girlfriends. Um, but I have to say I'm so grateful for the time and the effort that I put into it when I was little because by the time I was about nine I started writing music and classical sounding pieces and stuff on the keys and um, somehow that transformed into country music by the time I was 13 when I got my first acoustic. Um, I couldn't tell you how or why, but it was a really beautiful thing when those songs just started to fall out of me, and stories, really. I was 13 years old, and I was in a venue up at the Hayloft um, in Mount Clemens, Michigan, and I was playing for what I thought was a bunch of family and friends, but it turned out to be that there were a few Detroit industry guys who were up at the venue with me. Um, they were listening to my show, and I, I'd never played in front of anybody before, so, you know, it was just kind of fresh meat in a way, and um, I wound up signing a management deal with them six months later, and so that was the beginning for it becoming really real and something that I was going to pursue. Before that, it was just what I loved, and it is still what I love, but now I do it for a little bit more, too. It's a profit. It is my income. It's my lifestyle. In college, I was a sophomore and I decided to start an artist management company with a couple other students. Um, we were able to release some of my music, we came up with a bunch of new concepts, and really the way that we were able to do all of this was through the internet and social media and Spotify and all these new distribution platforms. So without that, as an independent artist, I wouldn't be able to survive. I wouldn't be able to have a company. I wouldn't be able to have a new concept that makes people from labels give me a call and say, hey, what the heck are you doing? Um, but at the same time, I think it can really devalue some of the artistry that's going on because blue checks oftentimes will become this verification that somebody is more meaningful than someone else or someone's music is better than someone else's. Um, I struggle with that reality, but I think that ultimately social media will help some people get seen um, in ways that they otherwise would have no chance to. Boy, I have so many favorite musicians, um, but along my own path that I've had a chance to meet and play with is definitely Herschel Boone. His, he is just an extraordinary vocalist. He's a wonderful man. He's a man of God, too, which I love and I appreciate. Um, and he really built me up as a vocalist from the time I was little until now. And so. Um, it's an honor to have worked with somebody who's worked with so many extraordinary talents himself. I've got a lot of dream venues. Um, I think it's important to have a lot of them because then you never set yourself to just one thing. Uh, but I think it would be a dream to play the Ryman. I was baptized there on that stage. I've seen some of my very favorite musicians play on that stage. I just saw Tori Kelly over there. And uh, if I had the honor to grace that one, that'd be pretty cool. My creative process is constantly changing. I feel like it depends on who I'm writing with, if I'm writing by myself, if I've got a track team or what. You know, it just, it's constantly changing. I think it's important to do that. I think that if you can really adjust to whatever situation you're in and still call upon your creativity to that specific moment, it makes it particularly special for each song and keeps you sort of fresh. I'm Paulina Jane. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, all at Paulina Jane. I'm on YouTube too, and if you want to hear some music, I've got some Spotify stuff and Apple Music stuff. Go take a listen. I'm 
driving home tonight Catching all red lights That's alright cause I don't wanna be alone There's nobody waiting there Caught an empty bed Words I wish I said come on the radio I don't know why I just can't let you go Steaming up the glass Gave anything if I could bring it back Oh, oh, oh So I've been sleeping till noon In the same bedroom Where I once held you And it's breaking my heart I should take down all Those pictures from my walls Promises we made Fill this empty place I don't know why I just can't let you go Oh, no oh, I know you're never coming back But in my mind It's summer in my car And it's raining hard On the street like glue You got your lips on Tips up and down my back, breathing hard, sipping up the glass. Give anything if I could bring it back. Oh, 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 yeah, Got your lips on mine, gasoline on fire. I never will forget. You grab my shirt and you put it over my head, put it over my head, put it over my head. I see fingertips up and down my back, breathing hard, steaming up the glass. Give anything if I could bring it back home. I see fingertips up and down my back Breathing hard, steaming up the glass Give anything if I could bring it back home Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you, Dakota, for playing music with me. Um, thank you to AMI Guitars for doing this for all these artists. And go ahead and watch Dakota's video here soon, too.